Let's go lose a Serbia. Uh, difficulties, let's strengthen Austria by 3. Now, by 2. If we strengthen it by 3, it might be a little bit difficult. Then we strengthen Canada by 3. UOB by 3. The International by 3. The German Empire by 3. So we have a late game opponent. Russia, no. We strengthened Soviet so that if they spawn, we have a Soviet to fight. Uh, Nationalist France. Italy. Uh, who cares about Japan? Okay. I don't want Austria to be too strong because if not, then we just lose. Like, with no possible. You know. Oh, we have fucking Draja Mikhailovic as a general. Well, I guess it's time to be this. I'm not gonna do meme music. Kresha Army and I have spoon. CC di Serbia ignorantissima, bro. CC per meme. <laughs> For the memes, yo. Uh, yeah, Transamore is pretty RNG dependent. But it's still fun. Okay, so we have Pisadiska Divizia, Konitska Divizia, Konitska Divizia, and Planinsk Odred. Okay. So we only have. Oh no, we, ha we also have Pisadiska Divizia 2 with Artie. Sure. So that's our templates, right? Yeah. That's fine. For now. Guns. Research. We're gonna have to fight quickly, so... Focus on land doctrines. Mobile warfare. And basic machine tools. No, actually. Engineering. Yes. For... Factories, we need militaries. We just need militaries. Like, we don't have civilians. We shouldn't have civilians. We're never gonna have civilians. I think Serbia only has the normal now. Yeah, it's got the normal national focus. Uh, which is, I guess, fine. Because you can get this, which is really strong. This, which is really strong. Also, because... Um, I believe we have claims around. Wait, we don't have claims on Sriem. That's weird. But yeah, we do have claims around. So we are gonna have the ability to get some... Uh, cores. Quite a lot of cores that we're gonna have to fight over. Industry. It's Hearts of Oak, I believe. Yeah, Hearts of Oak. It's like a British... Lover... British lover song, or whatever. Uh, no, they don't have the three times already genius. <sighs> that would be pretty sad. Uh, see, the reason they have that triple already genius is because the Serbian shells are led by God. That is pretty much the reason. So our head of government is a corporate suit, which means less poly power, but more... Ooh, that's really good. More factory construction speed. So yes, being corporate is cool. Mr. Dragisat Svetkovic. Alexander Tsinkar Markovic. Useless. Economy Minister, you're really good. I'm gonna keep you. Security Minister, that's also pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we can be national populist with the Serbsky Narodny Pokret. That would be really cool. But I hope that at least I can get the Srpska Nacionalna Stranka in power. Or, I mean, staying the Srpska Napredna Stranka should be pretty fine as well. Okay, let's go. Yes, I know. I know about all of this. Wait, want to remove faction joining limits? Oh. Um, I don't feel like I'm ready for that yet, but yes. <laughs> I don't even like this mod. That's not very nice. <laughs> well, oh, right! I remember that if you do that, I don't even like this mod, you do some, like, weird shit and you get invaded by aliens. <laughs> I love that. Okay. The assassination of the Archduke Fre uh, Ferdinand by a Serb nationalist, Mr. Gavrilo Princip, in Sarajevo in 1914 proved to be a catalyst that began the Belt Creek. Despite expecting an easy campaign, the Austrian forces only managed to occupy Serbia itself in 1915, and because of the entrance of Bulgaria into the war. After the war, Serbia's southern territories were handed over to Bulgaria, whilst the remainder was kept under Austrian occupation until 1926. 
when the Austrians were forced to withdraw their troops due to ethnic tensions elsewhere in Europe. Since then, Serbia has struggled to survive, keeping a low profile in the light of knowledge that she could not stand up to any sort of military attack. Over time, however, the government has become increasingly anti-Austrian and jingoistic. And knowing that they could not hope to defeat Austria, they instead turned their attention southwards, towards the land occupied by Bulgaria. Several diplomatic talks have already been conducted with the Romanian and Greek governments, with a view of undermining Bulgarian hegemony in the region. And some say a talk of a formal alliance is not far off, the Belgrade Pact. Can Serbia successfully steer a course to triumph in the Bulgarian matter? And if so, can she finally defeat the old enemy Austria and raids, realize her dream of a pan-Slavic union of Yugoslavia? I mean, that's just whatever. Uh, well, I will explain your, my name to you in private. Um, yes, yeah, Serbia does have a very sizable adventure. You can, well, <laughs> Germany in victory group running close by some Trumpism in Serbia. <laughs> Kind of. Um, so essentially, in at least Darkest Hour, you can you have a very very strong event tree where you can end up forming Yugoslavia, or you can become, of course, Greater Serbia as you care. So you can do a couple of nice things, and I hope that it's ported over to Hearts of Iron Four. I think it is. I think basically Europe is entirely ported over. Uh, in terms of events. Rip. Wait, what? So, you've been assassinated, but you're... Oh no, that's Dmitry Romanov. Right, it's not Kerensky. Well, they were pretty quick in choosing Dmitry Romanov. So we might have a new um, Tsardom, or we might have the Aristocratic Republic in Russia. Now, if I do remember correctly, until 1937, Austria is going to be fine. But then in 1937, if we haven't declared war on Bulgaria already, we probably are going to go to war with Illyria first before anyone else. Hmm. I don't remember. Black Monday. I hope we don't get Black Monday. Yeah, yeah, Afghanistan, sure. Is there a particularly Serbian? Uh, there's no particularly Serbian icon. I'm gonna make myself a blue. Wait, what? Let's be a blue thing. A blue cross of doom. Because we all know crosses are the best symbols, right? German Empire? Right? Right? Fucking. Well, you don't have a cross. <laughs> right, Mr. Pope? Right? Uh, do you have a cross? Probably you have a cross in there. Yeah, you do have a cross in there, of course. Right, Kingdom of Spain? I mean, everybody's got a cross, right? So, to be very. Original, just like with fucking eagles. I mean, eagle, eagle, uh, no eagle, but there's actually an eagle in there. Eagle, <laughs> eagle, probably eagle in here too. Yeah, look at that eagle, eagle with a cross. Yeah, we just have to be very, very original because we're Serbia. Yeah, I also kind of like the idea of both Bosnia and Croatia being puppets rather than Illyria. I mean, Illyria doesn't really make any logical sense in the 20th century, but Kaiserreich sometimes just has to be uh, insane. Of course, there is Bosnia that they can release, but and there's also Montenegro, Cernagora. And there's also Croatia, I believe. Yeah, Kingdom of Croatia. It's kind of sad though that the Lyria exists because I, I did try to play a Lyria to see if they did have anything that they could do, but unfortunately not. So that is really, really sad. Okay, very good. Let's get ourselves some research speed because we're a little, little, little tiny Serbia. We need to be the best. Really? Is that the guy with the glasses? Oh no! It's the girl! So you're a cynicalist. 
Fine. Uh, finally no autonomists in the UK. Well, not the UK. The UOB. I really don't like it when the autonomists happen. And they do a... Is this new? I think some parts of this focus tree are new. That's cool. And yeah. You're gonna die, Mr. Ma. Yeah, Kaiser really likes the hipster nations. No, don't crash. Don't crash, Pablo. Like, look at this shit. So, Kaiser number one has White Ruthenia with this guy in charge. And the United Baltic Duchy with this Hitler stashed fellow as well. So, hipster nations all abound. Then, Flanders Wallonia. Jesus Christ. And then they have like the kingdom of. They can have the kingdom of Somalia be their puppet, which is also pretty hilarious. Then they have Hermann Göring in fucking Nazi Africa. They have the Corporation of China. Yeah, in general, the German empires just have hipster countries because also then Galicia fucking Lodomeria for Austria. So they just really like to be. They just really like to be hipsters with their puppets. And also, Austria is becoming social democrat, which means that I must destroy it. Because nobody likes social democrats. What can I do? Uh, engineer companies wouldn't be bad. But at the same time, I feel like I need construction. It, it is a plausible insanity. And Hearts of Iron 4 is a meme bait. Oh, you mean like Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich is a meme bait? Well, I mean, no. To be fair, like, most of this is based off of the DH1, so it is still decently plausible. But some of it is pretty meme, -me, of course. Uh, I mean, if you go to the subreddit for Kaiserreich, you know how meme lordy these people are. Wait, I still have a free military factory. Well, let's just produce guns. And oh! Oh, it's Dzerzhinsky, of course. So we have fucking Iron Felix in charge of the Polish Socialist Republic. I am sure that this will... Wait, what? What are you talking about? You're a Socialist Republic. Why no Eternal Regency? But why Eternal Regency, though? I'm guessing this victory of the people is going to... Yeah, it's going to remove that. Okay, never mind. And revolution is... Siam. Really? What was this? So, a clique called People's Party of Officers and Intelligentsia. Well, I mean, you're still an absolute monarchy, so why did you do... What? What was this? <laughs> yeah, you're pretty weak. You've got a bunch of really terrible modifiers. V. Dovdan represents the day to commemorate Saint Prince Lazar and the Serbian holy martyrs who gave their lives to defend the true faith during the epic battle of Kosovo Polje against the Ottoman Empire on June the 28th, uh, 1389, as regarded as the national holiday of Serbia. Serbia will never forget its heroes. <laughs> Memes. I got a country where Bosniaks, Serbs, and Croats can live together in peace. The Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia? What? Uh, yeah, well, uh, okay, so, Pablo, this is kind of hard because, like, it's called Galicia in English, but it's actually Galitza in Slavic, right? Instead of, uh, how do you even say Galicia in Spanish? It's just Galicia? Galicia? Yeah, because the spelling would tell me Galicia, but this might just be the, um, the English spelling. I'm not sure. But yes, this is actually Galitza, but for some reason it's called Galicia in English? I don't even know. Who's gonna get... oh, the most boring one, <laughs> of course. No, Germany! <laughs> yeah, we're cheap labor. Uh, yes. To be completely fair, I like that. I like that answer. Yeah, also, um, Japanese runs and Kaiserreich are very, very, very interesting. 
I might do one eventually because the thing with Japan is that you can do three things. You can be a Nazi. You can be... Yeah, I'm just gonna say a Nazi. You can be just a regular authoritarian. Or you can be a Democrat, actually. But you can be a very aggressive Democrat. And then eventually you're also gonna have the option to be a um, syndicalist. So it's a bit like Russia in that you have a lot of options. And it can be really, really nice. But, I mean... Yeah, I also have that Millennium Dawn run on my TV, yeah. I mean, to be fair, Millennium Dawn and Kaiser Reich are just different enough that you may just consider them different things. Especially since the starting position is so much different. I mean, Japan and Millennium Dawn is just this, literally. Oh, really? The Anarcho-Syndicalists? Wait, why is Togliatti still around? I thought that if the radical socialist one. Oh no, that actually they got an anarcho syndicalist. Right, never mind. So that's Toyati, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So, two middle of the road options for the Italy's. Nothing weird coming out of there. Hmm, being the leading power in the second Entente as Japan. Yeah, that, that's an interesting little. Because you can join the Entente, I think. I'm pretty sure you can become part of the Entente. I mean, you could in DH, so I'm assuming that you can. I mean, you, you can create your own faction, of course, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you can somewhere. Anyway, whatever. Okay. Uh, so we have enough world tension to become early mobilized. I think I'm gonna do that. I do have ways to do other things, but... I do not know. I don't think I need these yet. And I don't need any military people. I need early mobilization. So that I can build more. I already have quite a bit of um, recruitable manpower because of my national spirit and because I already start off with limited conscription. So that is fine. Okay, now. Industrial grants. Yes, let's just make Serbia an industrial might. If we make Serbia strong. It will be time for Serbian revenge. Okay. You're about to join the Barafia commune, I think. And whoa, 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 whoa! Fucking glorious Afghanistan is still alive in October. So they've been going at it for like seven months. The opening of the new parliament building. Construction of a new parliament building started in 1907. With the cornerstone being laid by King Peter I. Uh, you, right? Or maybe this is... No, this is a military commander. Region of Serbia. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm retarded. Petar Bojovic. Fine. Uh, the Belt Creek delayed construction. Yeah, if your country is invaded, I don't think you can build a parliament. Uh, and the original plans to the building were lost, but the reconstruction of the plans were made by Pavle Ilkic. The interior was designed by Nikolai Krasnov in the matter of academic traditionalism. The construction of the building was recently completed, and the first session of the new edifice in the new edifice is about to be held. It's beautiful. Liepas Danie. Not sure how you say building in Serb. Probably a really retarded word. Okay, it's time to get some steel. Uh, who do we want to get steel from? I guess the Russians. Mostly because. I don't want to give factories to either Austria or the German Empire. Oh! Huey Long got elected. Of course. Let's go lose a Serbia. Uh, difficulties. Let's strengthen Austria by 3. Now by 2. If we strengthen it by 3, it might be a little bit difficult. Then we strengthen Canada by 3. UOB by 3. The International by free, the German Empire by free. 
so we have a late game opponent. Russia, no, we strengthened Soviet, so that if they spawn, we have a Soviet to fight. Uh, Nationalist France, Italy, uh, who cares about Japan? Okay. I don't want Austria to be too strong, because if not, then we just lose. Like, with no possible... You know. Oh, we have fucking Draja Mikhailovich as a general. Well, guess it's time to be this. I'm not gonna do meme music. Cresce armi and I have a spoon. Si, si, di Serbia ignorantissima, probably. Si, si, per i meme. Yeah, for the memes, yo. Uh, yeah, Transamur is pretty RNG dependent. But it's still fun. Okay, so we have Pisadiska Divizia, Konitska Divizia, Konitska Divizia, and Planinsk Odred. Okay. So we only have, oh no, we, ha we also have Pesadiska Divizia 2 with Arty. Sure. So that's our templates, right? Yeah. That's fine. For now. Guns. Research. We're gonna have to fight quickly, so... Focus on land doctrines. Mobile warfare. And basic machine tools. No, actually. Engineering. Yes. For factories, we need militaries. We just need militaries. Like, we don't have civilians. We shouldn't have civilians. We're never gonna have civilians. I think Serbia only has the normal now. Yeah, it's got the normal national focus. Which is, I guess, fine. Because you can get this, which is really strong. This, which is really strong, also because um, I believe we have claims around. Wait, we don't have claims on Sriem. That's weird. But yeah, we do have claims around. So we are going to have the ability to get some uh, cores, quite a lot of cores that we're going to have to fight over. Industry. It's Hearts of Oak, I believe. Yeah, Hearts of Oak. It's like a British lover... British lover song, or whatever. Uh, no, they don't have the three times already genius. <sighs> that it would be pretty sad. Uh, see, the reason they have that triple already genius is because the Serbian shells are led by God. That is pretty much the reason. So our head of government is a corporate suit, which means less poly power, but more... Ooh, that's really good. More factory construction speed. So yes, being corporate is cool. Mr. Dragisa Svetkovic. Alexander Tsinkar Markovic. Useless. Economy minister, you're really good. I'm gonna keep you. Security minister, that's also pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we can be national populist with the Srpski Narodni Pokret. That would be really cool. But I hope that at least they can get the Srpska Nacionalna Stranka in power. Or, I mean, staying the Srpska Napredna Stranka should be pretty fine as well. Okay, let's go. Yes, I know. I know about all of this. Wait, want to remove faction joining limits? Oh. Um, I don't feel like I'm ready for that yet. Yes. <laughs> I don't even like this mod. That's not very nice. <gasps> well, oh, right! I remember that if you do that, I don't even like this mod, you do some, like, weird shit and you get invaded by aliens. <laughs> I love that. Okay. The assassination of the Archduke Fre uh, Ferdinand by a Serb nationalist, Mr. Gavrilo Princip, in Sarajevo in 1914 proved to be a catalyst that began the event creating. Despite expecting an easy campaign, the Austrian forces only managed to occupy Serbia itself in 1915, and because of the entrance of Bulgaria into the war. After the war, Serbia's southern territories were handed over to Bulgaria, whilst the remainder was kept under Austrian occupation until 1926, when the Austrians were forced to withdraw their troops due to ethnic tensions elsewhere in Europe. Since then, Serbia has struggled for a while against Argentina, regardless of that. And we're up to the best war ever. Haiti and the Dominican Republic, of course. Oh, you have the spirit of freedom! Yes, of course. The spirit of freedom guides you. 
Long live the United States. Let's do national infrastructure and then we can do the land doctrine. Is Thorclor going to the extreme lengths of security by turning into a bear and killing people? Okay, now we have lots of guns. We can start recruiting people. In fact, I'm pretty sure I should have done that from the start. Let's recruit some people. Uh, we don't actually have the manpower required to recruit people. So at this point, what I should do is... Like, do this. Uh, let's get some tungsten somewhere. Portugal. Give me tungsten. So, so that we can turn everybody into a decent division. Ah! Okay, good. Anything ever gonna happen? Well, Austria might, you know, blow up soon. So let's put my troops on the border with Croatia. Okay. What about this? Um, can get an intelligence minister. Oh, that's really cool. Decryption and research time. That's a really good one, actually. But minus 2.50. Strategic bombing. Let's get that research time loss. Or, yeah, I think it would be better to do elastic defense. That's bad. Is there anything for offense? Yes, Petar Bojevic. So, our leader. But he's old, he might die. I hope he doesn't. School of Mass Combat, that could help. But yes, first let's go for Decisive Battle. Because if we do go to war, we're gonna need as many bonuses as possible. Because we're really, really, like, not strong. I mean, of course, Croatia is not strong either, but their overlords are, I mean, oh, yes, I mean, I never see them win, but it's always cool that they try, go, go, South Korea, no, oh, South Korea, <laughs> Korea. They might get help from the Germans. Who knows? They might get help from the Russians. Who knows? Many things might happen. Uh, all of you who I am now building, you'll all go to... Draja Mihailovich. And there's a civil war. So what's actually happening? Well, oh, MacArthur happened, of course. So, MacArthur is pretty glorious. It looks like he's going with the aggressive one. Yeah, he's going aggressive. So, he might become the American Caesar this time. And Pacific States of America. And. 